Often, when I conduct training or a webinar in a Connect meeting room, during the time leading up to the start, I use a PowerPoint slide deck that automatically plays through all the slides and then loops back to the beginning to play again. This is a great way to entertain attendees and communicate important messages to them while they wait for the main presentation to begin. Invariably, somebody will ask, how do you do that? So let me show you. When you upload a PowerPoint deck to an Adobe Connect SharePod, you'll find a new option in the Pod Options menu. Remember, that's right up here in the upper right corner of the pod. The new option is Show Presentation Play Bar. Selecting this option will display a set of controls with the slide deck. One of the controls is the Play or Pause button. Clicking Play will cause the slides to play one at a time until the entire slide deck has been viewed. The default time for each slide to be played is five seconds. Though you can lengthen that by adding animations that require more time to play. When the last slide has been played, the presentation ends and stops playing. So then, how do we make it play again? Well, that's the tricky part. It actually requires another application called Adobe Presenter. This is an add-in for PowerPoint. As you see here, when, you, when you've installed Adobe Presenter, you'll see the Adobe Presenter ribbon in PowerPoint. So to make the presentation loop, we just look in the Tools section and click the Settings button. In the Settings dialog box, we look at the Playback tab and check the Loop Presentation checkbox. Save the presentation and upload it to your Connect Meeting Room, and when you play the presentation, it will loop back to the beginning. If you don't have Adobe Presenter, there's another way to accomplish this. Typically, the presentation that auto plays doesn't have to last for more than a few minutes. So as an example, let's say we want our slide deck to play for 15 minutes. We have 10 slides in our presentation and we know each slide will play for five seconds. 10 times five is 50 seconds. How many times would we have to repeat these slides to make the presentation play for 15 minutes? Time for a little math. 15 times 60 is 900. 900 divided by 50 is 18. So we copy all of our slides and paste them in 17 additional times. We should have 180 slides when we're done. Now upload this slide deck to the Connect SharePod and play it. It'll play for 15 minutes. One more thing. What if I want a slide to play for 10 seconds instead of five? The easiest way is to add an animation. I'll add a new text box and enter animated text. It doesn't matter what the text says as long as there's some text in the box. With a new text box selected, I'll go to Animations and set it to Fade In. If I add up all the timings for all of these other animations, I'll find it's a little over six seconds. So I need four more seconds to make a total of 10. I'll double click the new animation I created and click the Timing tab. Here, I can change the duration to four seconds and make sure that Start is set to After Previous. Now the timings of all the animations total up to 10 plus seconds. Close enough for me. Now I just want to set the text color to match the background so it's invisible to the participants. And I want to move the animation so that it executes after the other entrance animations and before all of the exit animations. That's it. Go ahead and create some really great self-playing content for your lobby. Maybe I'll get a chance to see it if I attend one of your webinars. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you get notified of all of our updates. And if you need any additional help with Adobe Connect, you can contact us using the info on the screen.